statistics, some big numbers of, I think, I don't know if it was children being shot or just people being shot. Yeah, those but, came from the Children's Defense Fund. Okay. And are those, are those, is that isolated to uh, kids who found a gun under their parents' pillow and shot themselves or shot somebody else? Uh, or is that also just people being, I mean, a th yesterday a three-year-old was shot on the south side here by, right. by it's, a gunman? It's, and it's a combination of all of them, but keep in mind, um, you know, one of the problems that we have here is that on the one hand you have those that are pushing guns that are arguing um, for access to everybody. Um, on the other hand, they say that they only want responsible people to have the guns, but when you try to talk to them about enforcing a, and, and closing down the gun show loophole, which allows somebody to go to a gun show um, and purchase a gun illegally, uh, they don't want to move that bill. I mean, if, if they really are serious about only allowing people who have a legitimate reason to have a gun to have a gun, then why are they holding up Representative Hurd's bill? They, they seem to be talking out of both sides of their mouth, and quite frankly, this is part of this culture that we're in right now of, of pandering to the right and pandering to uh, uh, ideology as opposed to common sense legislation that can save lives. Yes. Those who support bringing the guns into restaurants and bars and that recent legislation have said there have been no instances where there has been anybody hurt or killed in those establishments. How do you respond? Actually, that's not true. I, I believe Toby can probably speak to this better, but I will, and I'll bring her up in a second, but there have been numerous instances in Ohio um, since that law has been passed in bars uh, dealing with guns. Um, they have been widely reported. It's simply not true that that's not happening. And that is why one of the main things that Toby's group is doing, and I'll let her come up and talk to you about it, is doing a business-to-business -business veto. It's a citizen veto, basically, where you go to your restaurant, you go to your local tavern, and you ask them to put up a sign telling them that they shouldn't carry a gun. But that's not enough for these folks. They want guns in churches. Uh, here's the, here's the uh, card that we're actually sending around. Uh, but it's not enough. They want guns in churches. They want guns in preschools. They want guns in regular schools. They, they want guns everywhere. And, uh, but there's no guarantee that these are going to be done legally. And that's the problem. I mean, you know, our laws are allowing guns to get into the hands of terrorists. That was a fact. We spend a lot of money worrying about terrorism, and yet our own gun laws are allowing guns to get through our gun show loophole to illegally get into the hands of terrorists. And I'll let Toby address the, the bars, guns and bars issue. I think there's there's a couple of things that are associated with, with this is that um, there's no clearinghouse for anybody to know what's happening with the guns out in, in public because they make sure that every a law that they passed uh, has got you know that all the information is secret you can't know that either but there is a site uh, the violence policy center monitors uh, what happens with concealed permit holders uh, across the country and all of the things that have happened and where they have been the offender. So uh, you know, we have that to go by. Pretty much we depend upon all of you when, when you report something, but there have been numerous cases where the typical thing that we see is that there's an argument and then somebody has the gun in the car and they go out and get it where they had it on and to start with. And we have to remember that people don't know when what people are up to because they're not visible. So and, you know it does keep happening. And uh, it, it's the circle that we, that we face all the time. So I, I, I would urge you to take a look. I believe in the country there have been 407 homicides by people with their permits to carry. So when we say that they will always be law-abiding, we have to remember that might not be a permanent condition. And so uh, we don't know who that will be. And we, they should put the rest of us in danger. So bars, campuses, um, it, it doesn't make any sense for the majority of people. And our legislators are giving in and promoting something that only 3% of the population wants to do. Only 3% of our Ohio population has permits to carry. What about the other 